door. You do? Look how pretty these are. No, I'll take sides. This is how I look. You know, I'm I can see the fall vibes with the um, labors and everything. It's kind of cute. Good morning, queens and kings. It is morning, but I decided to give you guys this haul before we get started with whatever else I got going on today because I actually been up early this morning. I got up and prayed, like really did some prayer um, because there's a lot of things changing in my life. Um, not just because a lot of things change, but because we really do need prayer. Try to do something different. Um, definitely on the weekends for sure. Weekdays, I got to learn how to <clears throat> make the time for to get up and pray early because I get up five o'clock in the morning. But when I open my eyes, I thank the Lord for waking me up. So, you know, um, before I even grab my phone to turn off the alarm. Um, but this morning, I got up and I did some praying. I've been up since probably about seven o'clock this morning, it's about 11 now. Everybody's still asleep, so that means they went to bed late. Um, so I got on up after I got through praying, I just started cleaning. I, I cleaned the closet, the bathroom, the bedroom, the dining room, the living room. I haven't made it my way to the kitchen yet. Um, I think I'm gonna do that last, probably after I do this haul here, but I just, you know, just wanted a different spirit, a different spirit over myself pretty much. Um, because it's going to be some changes in my life. It's going to be a whole lot of changes. Um, but this morning, I just felt a totally different spirit over me this morning. I don't know if it was from the prayer, but I don't think it was because I felt a little heavy this morning, you know? But after prayer, I felt light, though, you know, and I started cleaning up, got in the spirit of cleaning, and just got my gospel music playing, and just going from room to room cleaning. Um, so, now I'm taking a break, pretty much, so therefore I can do this haul while everybody's still asleep. It's not a big haul, it's a little haul, um, but I want to show you the things that I've been picking up since I'm starting to vlog more of my life, other than just doing certain content. Um, yeah, so forgive me for how I look and I took my braids out and I throw some earrings on try to be a little bit more presentable, presentable but I'm still in my night clothes, I'm in my nightgown um, I don't want y'all to see these things hang low so <laughs> I got the camera up a little bit um, <clears throat> but yeah, let me jump into this hall before Andre started waking up because y'all know how he takes over y'all done told me plenty of times he take over but before we do that, welcome to all our new queens and kings. I'm going to keep on saying it and keep on saying it. That I truly appreciate you guys so much for your love and the support that you all been showing me. We have reached 4,000 plus and I'm going to keep saying it until we get to 5,000 because I will be giving away a $25 cash giveaway. Well, PayPal. Is it PayPal? Cash something. Y'all know what I'm saying. The little green thing. Or I can actually give you $25 to spend it however you want to spend it. If you want to treat yourself, buy your baby daddy sub, buy your side piece a little sub, sub, buy, oh no, just say it. Buy your friend or just treat yourself, honestly, on me. So once we, we reach um, 5000 I will be doing that. Um, and I think it's easier that way other than me pretty much mailing something because it's going to cost more money to mail something, purchase something. So I just give you $25 cash out. That's what I'm trying to say. Cash out. Um, the noise in the background, if you do hear, is the fan. This is why the blinds is over here going off. It's moving. But let me show you guys what I got. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works. I didn't go. I mean, I ordered from Bath and Body Works. And I ordered um, some fall candles. You guys know that uh, candles tend to 
really trigger my allergies like my sinus i mean to say real bad but i love the fall counter so i buy dw counters from home goods and marshes and stuff like that all the time now that i buy counters for bath and body work it's pretty much for the fall you know the season counters you know but they be having some good counters but i have to catch this sale and that's pretty much what i did on this one here i think these counters range from ten dollars 1050 to 11 something um i try to pick up more stuff i was trying to buy a hundred dollar worth of stuff but it seemed like the sale they had to send myself that's what the semi-annual sale stuff was really going out as i put it in my cart try to go check out honey they sent me a, uh, a message saying that something being removed or something but i spent 80 80. Did I even? Y'all listen, this brain of mine just have so much going through it. And so much going through it, so I'm just all over the place right now. I'm trying to think all at the same time. Girl, calm down, pal. Calm down. But back to the appreciation part that I appreciate each and every one of you all and welcome new queens and kings. That's what I think I miss for saying. I think that's what I miss. But hey, subscribe. You know, subscribe. So, only thing I did get out of um, shower was I picked up one thing of uh, shower gel. I really don't care for bath and body works shower gel. They just really have to have a sale for me to order to pick it up because I feel like I could go to Walmart and get a Walmart brand, you know, whatever brand that's in Walmart, and pick it up for from three dollars on up. You know, but bath and body works has some good sense, and I picked up this sea salt and lavender because that's what i mean by when i was putting stuff in there i had picked up more um body wash but by the time i get ready to check out it was gone it was gone so it was like okay forget it i guess i won't spend a hundred dollars i spent eighty something dollars so that's what i did hmm, this smells pretty good it got aloe and vitamin e in it i never paid attention to that but this smells good not bad sea salt and lavender hmm blooming lavender they say okay all right so this is gonna be my new body wash i put in the bathroom for myself now the candles candles look kind of different i don't know this look kind of small to me maybe it's the way how the candles sitting in the package this way it looks small this way it look wide so this is how the candles came i have two four five candles i picked the five candles and this one so far saying it's vanilla pumpkin marshmallow so okay i like this little packaging i like this you know you was just put it in the little crate thing so yeah let me open this skirt okay you open it from the side i got one side over so this is it oh here we go this is it the Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I got it because it's actually white too, but I like vanilla. Mm, it smells like a little hint of cinnamon in it. Let me see, because I don't care for cinnamon like that. Um, do they say anything with cinnamon? Girl, they got one word I pretty really can't pronounce it. Something Tahita. Tahita. Vanilla pumpkin spice. That's what it is. The pumpkin spice. That's what I'm smelling. Homemade marshmallow dazzled caramel with natural essential oils. That's what I'm smelling. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I don't care for nothing too much of a pumpkin spice. I don't know. Let me see because I totally forgot what kind of candles I got. But I do know these are fall candles. So this is candle number two. This one is caramel pumpkin punch. Okay, caramel pocket square. This is how this one look. <laughs> this in this one by White Burn. Oh, that's by White Burn too. Okay. Well, I can smell a little pumpkin. I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie for the holidays. I love pumpkin pie. It ain't too many people like pumpkin pie. Everybody is more of uh, sweet potato pie. But I love some pumpkin pie. I love it. Okay, let's see. 
was in here. So we have a luxury of hair mare grounded cinnamon. You go that cinnamon, rich brown sugar, creamy vanilla with natural essential oils. Uh, I don't know. I can smell the caramel when I just did that. Mm, I don't know about that cinnamon and that spice. It, it really does triggers me. I don't know. Something about it I just I just don't like it. Get up in my nose and irritates. This one is the pumpkin pecan waffle. Now this I love. I think I still got one or a half of one in my cabinet. Girl, don't don't judge. Oh my god, it still smells so good. I think I picked up two of these. Girl, let me see where my receipt at. So we got maple syrup, golden waffle, waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar with natural essential oils. Now I don't smell the brown, does pumpkin spice in here. Oh, just for a hint of it. Girl, it's got to be the pecan waffle. It's got to be that was really that maple syrup with storm. Girl, I love that. I love that. I love that. That's my favorite candle from Bath and Battle when it comes down for the holidays. So... Okay, I got one of each of everything, all the ones that I like. So I got Caramel Pumpkin Squirrel. I got Pumpkin Donut Shop. Sound like Andre coming. Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Banana Walnut Muffin. And um, Pumpkin Pecan. Yeah, I hope that blind ain't bothering y'all because it's starting to bother me. So it may be bothering y'all. So let me move the candles in the way so I can stop all that thing going back and forth. Okay, so which one is this one? This is the Pumpkin Donut Shop. Now, I don't think I never smelled this one here. But this is how I look. You know, I could see the fall vibes with the um, labors and everything. It's kind of cute. I don't think I'm like this. I can smell the donut. Now I can start smelling the pumpkin, but that first whiff of it, oh no. Hopefully it smell good. If not, I'll take this back. But this one has glazing donuts, warm pumpkin spice, sprinkled with powdered sugar, natural essential oils. Sprinkle. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Know. So the last and final candle is the banana walnut muffin. Okay, we're gonna see how this smell. Hmm. I think I can get you with this. Looks like you got a little hmm. pumpkin spice is definitely in him. I think I can get jiggled with this here. Let's see what the notes are. Sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon, there we go, sugar muffin with a natural central oil. I can smell the cinnamon, but it smells like a little hint of peppermint, though. Mm. I don't know, but these are my candles that I got that I ordered from Bath and Butteries. So these are the candles. Five candles for the holiday for fall. Now, I went to um, Hobby Lobby. You know, Hobby Lobby done started putting out their holiday stuff. They even started putting out Christmas stuff. Um, I forgot to really film them because I was running my mouth while I was on the phone. So, um, and I didn't bring my other phone to actually try to pick up no clips or nothing. What they did have because it's just actually starting to put out holiday stuff. So, but I'm just going to browse to see what they have in there. Nothing major. Um, and I like to go in there for the pick up stuff I could do, like some type of DIY with or something. Did I tell y'all, excuse me, I took it down, the braids out? I think I did. I think it's too much on my mind. But, um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. This here is um craft stuff though. This is what this is. 
because I mean, I'm trying to get back in the mood of crafting. My nose itches, excuse me. Um, on my DIY channel, so I picked up this mirror welcome sign. Not even sure what I'm gonna do with just because I picked it up because y'all already know what. Yep, because it's mirror. <laughs> I was looking for more, but it just only had welcome. But this was $3.99. I don't think this was on sale. Where is my receipt? Because I really don't know. I don't think none of the holiday stuff was on sale. Like Christmas and um, fall, none of that was on sale. So I picked up some of these little gems here. These are $2.99 a pack. You know, the rhinestone little wraps. Because I picked up these. Now these, I think, was on sale. But that's the only time I really picked these up. But my thing was kind of high. So I didn't see my receipt. If they was on sale, these was two fifty, so they five ninety nine. So I picked up the two of the scripts, the single little skinny scripts, and then I picked up these two. Um, which was the last one? They they hard to find. So where's my receipt? I think it's in my purse. Now y'all know I'm in love with the brown, so I picked up two of these. These are nineteen ninety nine at Hobby Lobby. Y'all know they don't have the little coupon no more. I totally forgot about that part there. But these are fall, and it wasn't on sale, but they was $19.99. Um, I picked these up. Picked up two of them. I like them. Where I'm going to put them at, I don't even know. But I like them. Thinking about, I don't even know. But I like them. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the last fruit items I got, which is from Amazon. Um... Like I told you guys before, I'm doing a makeover, a refresh in the living room. So I picked up some things for the living room, but they did their items. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what those are in a minute. But I got to take them out of the box. But these I picked up a ring across Amazon. You know, you just be browsing on Amazon, girl. I swear I need this. I need to stop. I need to stay off Amazon. They get all my money. Can I claim it on my taxes? I didn't get too much of my money. Hey, listen, I need to get all the dollars I can get back to go in my savings. I don't touch that savings. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't touch that savings. Well, I try not to. I touched it for Dre's birthday, but other than that, I don't know. I gotta put that money back. Mm -hmm. Girl, they gave me this big old box. Ain't number one item in here. Like, this, this big old box. See? This, this big old box. Ain't number one item in here. I'm telling y'all got to stop. That's why y'all probably charging for the boxes. Like, what I there two items in here. What I picked up was some pillow covers. Excuse me. I picked up some pillow covers. Now, these cute online. I don't know how cute they are going to be in person. They have a little blue, little gold in them, brown in them. Yeah, I know I love my blue. So I was thinking of a masterpiece for them to pick these up. But I wanted to get them. Oh, they not bad. They look like so far. I'm going to insert what they supposed to look like with what they look like online. But these are it. These is not bad. But I think they are 18. I don't think they're 20. But these are 20. Here they don't say. They made in China. That's all they say. They are gold decorative throw. Home decor navy blue. Which I don't say. Maybe it's inside. But it does have a zipper. So it's pillow covers. Um, the pocket ain't but so narrow. So you're going to have to ball your pillow folding in half like this and put it in through it. That's how you would have to do it for to get it in there. Other than just trying to stuff it in there. But Online, the brown looked much darker. The brown looked much darker, which was the reason why I picked them up. But the brown looked darker. But now in person, the brown is not that dark, but they're not that bad, though. I still like them. I wish the blue was a little bit darker. It looked a little faded. Online, it looked a little darker, but the blue in the back is pretty, very pretty. It's like a satin. But I picked up only two of these just to see. I like them though. I'm not gonna send them back, so I'm gonna put them in my little collection of where my pillow covers at. Not bad. I like them. I can see it's changing to this color, probably for the holiday or something. I don't know, cause y'all know I have blue goes on in my bedroom, 
because I put up a tree in every room. Yes, I'm that queen. I'm that extra. So if you're new here, find trust and belief. There's a tree go up for every room. Every room. Every room get a tree. You get a tree. You get a tree. You get a tree. Every <laughs> get a tree. So um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I got. I'm gonna show you guys the mirrors that I picked up. I picked up some mirror. I picked up two round mirrors for to go on the wall. Um, I picked up these mirrors because they mimic my a mirror that I already have looks exactly like them that I was trying to find in Home Goods. Home Goods did not have the mirror. I uh, find round mirrors, but not the round mirror, mirrored mirror that I'm looking for. And the one I got from Home Goods was fifty dollars, and it's twenty something, twenty eight, I believe inches around I couldn't find it but I found one on Amazon but the one on Amazon is 23 point something around and then they got one 30 some inches around they want $175 for that yeah the 23 one well they want $87 for that no 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 listen go when you go on Amazon because the one that's put me on game on this I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the game you go on Amazon they have the original price and sometimes they have a returning price as in because somebody returned they didn't like it it don't be damaged and then like probably the box or something but the item does not be damaged they will sell it for you pretty much half of the price of the original cost and that's basically how i got both of these mirrors for that because even though they still wasn't worth they not worth fifty dollars forty dollars yeah i could say that but they're not bigger than the round mirror that I does have. But I'm going to show you guys because we need to put them up on the wall. Um, in the living room area where I'm doing the refresh. So let me go ahead and get myself together. And I will see you guys when we get ready to put the mirrors up. But let me show you the mirrors first. Come on. All right. So these are the boxes right here. And you see they all damage all up. This one here, I went and taken it apart to make sure that it's still good, which this one is. I need to take this one out the box to see because I bought them at two separate times. So let's see about this one first and show you guys. All right, so these are the mirrors right here. You see, they look exactly like the one that I have in the hallway there. And these is actually going to go on the wall behind me. I feel like I need another one, but I'm just going to make this work for now. You're just going to have to work for now. Yeah. And like I said, I got them for 40 something a piece. Which to me, they were $40 or less. But I know I wasn't going to pay no 80 something, all of them $90 for them. And they're not the same size as the one that I got in the hallway there. Um, in the intro in the foyer I mean so no no but these gonna go on the wall so we could get ready to go ahead and do that the noise you hear in the background is the dryer and the washer going off to it at the same time I apologize so like I said I was up cleaning and I'm doing a whole lot of a whole lot of I'm just guessing. It's 
Struggle from day to day. I have to realize that it's not my battle. It's not my battle to find. Everything will be alright. So let's not stop worrying. I can let go. Mom, I didn't know my mask was not on. Mm -hmm. So we're in Home Goods. I won't be doing too much talking because it got music playing. Came in here looking for some um, crystals. You do? You look for these are. Yeah. Your arms are cold. Okay, we're gonna get out of here soon. Then. Okay, y'all, so we have just left all good. And Andre gonna talk me to death. <laughs> exactly. Talk why I gotta go down to Barsha and just left all good. Well, can we just tell us to go to Target? Go to Target? Well, Target was not on my plan to go to Target. Target! Target! This what I came looking for was some crystals, but I came looking for some like this Well, you this already have here. a crystal that's purple. Yes, I have a purple one, but this is like the brown neutral. Mm -hmm. It's seven out of nine, so I'm gonna see if we got some more. Look what my little eyes spy. They do have some no. more. Yes, baby, what? No one says that no more. No one says that no more, baby? No. Nobody says baby anymore? No, but just only Babies. I guess. <laughs> and mom, maybe someone was. Listen, we fell out of there, but let's see. Andre can talk. I just want to talk Andre just been talking to everybody, just looking at us like, how old buy... is he? Mom, He's we're fine. Gonna <laughs> we're gonna buy a toy. Jeez, Louise. Then go to Target. Go to Target. Target too expensive. Target. You're going to make me fall. you walking Target. so slow. Target. If you go to Target, I will walk faster. If we go to Target and walk. Boy, you know how to bargain. Though. All right, y'all. We done made it back home. Finally. I'm tired. I'm full. Fade our face. Now, let me go ahead and put these mirrors up so I can end this vlog. You know, see, I washed my hair and stuff yesterday. That's why I did come back. Because I actually finished doing some more cleaning up. Fold up laundry, put away laundry. Organize Drake, Andre clothes in his closet. Threw away some stuff out of his closet. I need to go through all my home decor to basically condense some of that stuff down. So, now, let's go ahead and put these mirrors up. Look. That's why I didn't come back yesterday because I did so much else. Even this hair of mine. It act right when it wanna act right. But I think I scratched it too much. Cause you see how this is right here? This is where the back, like from the mid part come right here. And then the back is down longer. I think I need to get a um I seen this girl talking about it. A curl cut or something like that. See when it grow out some more. But we're doing good from when we did a sip press for my birthday, so yeah. 
trying to look like somebody today. Trying to look like these kids' mama. Or look like a mama of the gym. A chicken head. Now tell me how I'm supposed to get this glue off of here. I swear people do the dumbest stuff. The dumbest stuff. Just dumb. But I bought two of them though. I bought that one and the other one I showed you guys. The bigger one. Cause they had a small one too that you all seen. Y'all excuse Andre little drawers on the bed. Um, they clean though. So I picked this one up too. They're pretty. See, why they couldn't put the, the thing on that side there? Now, that's better than putting it directly on the goddamn crystal. Now, how am I supposed to get that off? I better be able to get it off. If not, I'm going to take this shit back. I better peel on off. It don't look like a peeler neither. I'm going to mess up my crystal. Oh, people do dumb stuff. <laughs> All right, so on the back of each one of the mirrors, they have these two latches. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use this tape to measure out and a marker. If you don't turn that TV down, son boy. Ooh, child, chill and be trying you right here. Um, so I'm going to put this going from one end to the other end. I'm just going to measure where the hook is at. And I'm gonna take the tape and put it on the wall so I can know exactly where I need to place my holes at on the wall. Okay, y'all, so I got it on here, but y'all can't see. I'm gonna show you my markers. I gotta get a little closer here. So this part here is the curve of the mirror, and this is where the hook is located at. So I decided to do that on both ends so I can see how wide that I want them. So I have one here. I'm gonna hang up the first one. Get my screw drill on uh, drill into the wall and then i'm going to use the same tape hopefully to be able to do the same on the opposite end you know what no i'm gonna do the other one i'll make its own because it may be maybe not in the same location so i'm gonna do that so i can know how much space that i want in between the two because i really need three but i'm not buying another one. i'm not so the second one there i'm not buying them i think that'll be higher enough I don't want it too high since they so small. You get what I'm saying? Because I really do need three. But I'm not buying another one. And I'm not going to move the one that I got in the entrance. I meant the foyer. So this is how I look here. So I'm going to put the second one there. Y'all can see. So hopefully this look all right. It took me a minute to put it on the wall to try to equal it out to make it look a little decent. We're gonna find out though. I'm tired, yeah. Because of this little one right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Alright, yeah, so these are the the mirrors. This is how they looking up here. Get down, Andre. Get on down. You about to stand up. But this is how they look. Um that space is not enough so they don't look too awkward on this wall, but you as you can see, I do need three. But like I said, I'm not gonna buy another one. Uh-uh. No ma'am, no ham. No, 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 no. But this is how they look. I think they're still cute. Maybe I can find some sconces to go in between, you know, to tie up the space on the wall. But I got a lot going on with the gallery wall as it is. So I don't want to put too much more. So I think I'm just leave, you know, I'm just leave that as is. I already got a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. But Y'all know me. I'll change some up in a minute. All right, Queens and Kings. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog with the little one in me. I don't know. I'm just tired right now at this point, so I really don't know what to say. To play. But y'all know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you, Queens and Kings, in the next one. You guys continue to be what? Royal. Bye-bye.